hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to do some ombre french tip nails with some chrome on the top so i just got these matte tips from gay Gayoy. i don't know how to say it um got them off amazon and yeah so that's we're gonna try these out i don't normally do this shape it's the first time i bought tips that were um stiletto so i thought i'd try them out uh, first i'm going to size these on my nails and see which ones fit me the best so i'm gonna do that right now all right so now i got my tips here i sized them up and i'm gonna go in with this matte top coat by model ones and i'm gonna do the easy peel method uh, for my nails but before i do that i'm going to add some cuticle oil on to my nails first and then i'm gonna add the matte top coat so I got this cuticle oil from one of the kits that I got from Model Ones. It's a little clicky, like those little lip glosses from way back when. Um, I'm just gonna put it on my nail. I'm just gonna rub it in. I'm gonna put it on top of the nail too because I don't want these to stay. I wanna peel them off when I'm done. So I want it to be as um, I don't know what the right word is, but as unstickable as possible. So now I'm just gonna add this mat to my nails. Try not to get any on my skin. Yes. Oh, and I forgot to put on my UV protect gloves. Too late now probably put them on after um yes i usually don't record and talk at the same time so this is new for me if you guys are watching don't forget to click that subscribe button don't forget to like too show you guys some love This is in real time, so bear with me. Get my lamp. Don't mind my wires. I'm here for 60 seconds. And ooh, there goes the spice. But it went away. It wasn't too bad. Alright, now I'm gonna add the nail glue to apply these nails. So I'm using this MAC Art Gel Glue. And I just realized that my lamp is the same brand as the, the tips that I just got. Look at that. Amazon, you be coming in clutch. Um, so I'm going to start off with my pinky because I'm going to be using my pointer and my thumb to apply all the nails anyways. Um, these are already matte, so I'm not going to buff anything out. And also, I am doing the easy peel method anyway so it's not like they have to stick that good this is strictly for design purposes all right so got it on the pinky a little right there you see that fail right there can you see how crooked Put it on my finger. We're gonna do that over. We're gonna do that over. And this, this is why I like the easy peel method. Cause you see how how terrible I did here. <laughs> Just gonna peel it off, you know. It's still good to go. We make mistakes. Just gonna go in and redo this finger. 
it's not. <gasps> First time. I'm like I'm making a mess. All right. Do the mat top coat. Let's try this again. All right, so I'm going to put that on it. Let's try to get the nail on straight this time. That's, just, that's the best we can do, let's try. I think I got a tip that was too big. Maybe that's the problem, but it's okay. As straight as possible and get it under the UV lamp. Let that bad boy cure. And then we're gonna go through all the fingers. Now that they're all on, I'm going to do a cure under my lamp for all the nails. 60 seconds. Now I'm going to do a quick file just to get the excess, um, oh, this is too high. Um, the excess glue off. I'm not a pro at this. I just try to find wherever I've tried to figure out where it works and then like which direction the file should go that works for my nail and then that's the direction that I go in um so I found the way and then I'm just going to file wherever it's a little bulky Now I'm going in with my Model 1 base. I'm going to add this to all of my nails. 
and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. I'm also going to add a little bit of top coat to underneath where I filed off the numbers on the, on the nails so that it doesn't look ashy <laughs> underneath the nail. Just my nude on my fingers very well. Look at it. Um, so this will be my the base to my French tip. I'm not the best with builder gel, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen a lot of people do it a lot of different ways where they do the little bead at the top and then they flip the finger over. I'm gonna tell you this right now. None of that works for me. <laughs> None of it works for me. I don't know. Um, so what I do, okay, I just paint it on. Like I paint on any other type of gel polish or nail polish and let it do its thing. The only difference is that I will cure it for a little bit with my little lamp before. So, that's the only difference. I feel like it moves around a lot and then, especially around the like edges, it'll start to like lift a little bit and I don't like that look. So I just, kind of like when I add the tips one by one, I'm just gonna cure these a little bit one by one and then at the very end, I will cure the whole hand.
right, so before I do the second coat, this has a pretty sticky layer on the top. So I'm just going to rub it off with some alcohol and then I'll add the second coat to these. I'm going to wipe this again. Make sure they are nice and not sticky. Now I'm going to add top coat because I'm going to be adding chrome. So you gotta put some top coat first if you want it to be like a like a mirror. You want that mirror effect. So we're gonna add top coat to all of my fingers.
we're going to use this model one white um so that i can do some ombre on the top i'm going to use this little brush to get the effect going so i'm just going to put a little bit on the top I did not have to put the top coat. I did not. I did not. I made a mistake. Oh well, it's gonna have two two layers of top coat because I didn't think this through thoroughly. So we're gonna do top coat again, and then we're gonna do the chrome. You know, that's what I get for nothing. Because I'm backwards. We're gonna put top coat again. Hopefully this won't mess up the nail. So now I got two options. I can either leave them like they are and not force it, or do what my original plan was, which was to use some foam on the top. Um, I was either gonna go with this one, you can see it, it's like a white one, or because the nails are you know, peach and pale. I was thinking maybe one of these, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to ruin these nails. Oh, this one. Meh. Mm. All right. No, 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 no. Let me let me go with this white one right here white one. This is white one. It might not be so bad. Let's see. Oh, we got real, real clear. Hmm. It's definitely purple. It was definitely purple. Let's not do that. Uh, 
whatever let's do it i did it girl i did it i'm not gonna do it i did it let's see Ooh, child i ruined these nails ruined it hate it ugly all right let's see if i can take it off <laughs> Let me see if I can take this off. Try failure. Let's try a different color. So how will we save these nails? The dazzle.
All right, guys, we pretty much made it to the end. Granted, these are absolutely not the nails that my vision was for, but they ended up coming out cute and I like the end result. I could not do the chrome. The chrome was a problem. Maybe I'll test it out in my next nail set, but we shall see. Thank you all for watching who stuck with me to the end and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye!